Good morning, Mark Whitney. Different flood zones throughout town can determine whether or not homeowners need to buy that flood insurance for their homes. For example, right now we're standing on what's a flood zone AE. What this means is that the homes right here behind me, they are in that flood zone, which means that they have to have that flood insurance. Here's the interesting part though, just down the road, homes just a little bit away, they are in the flood zone X, which means that they're at a moderate risk for flooding when we get that heavy rain. That means they don't have to buy flood insurance for their homes since they're only at that moderate risk versus these other homes that are at the flood zone AE. Now, FEMA comes in every few years and designates what areas belong to what flood zones. Here in Tucson, we might not see that heavy, consistent rainfall, but during monsoon, if you live in one of these flood zones and see that heavy downpour, even that small amount of water can actually damage your home. Biggest expense is usually the extraction of the water, so that can run into the thousands of dollars. Usually you have to take out the flooring and drywall. Now the other very important thing to keep in mind is that if you get that flood insurance, it does take 30 days for it to kick in. The only way flood insurance will kick in right away is if you just closed on your home. And like I just mentioned earlier, guys, right now I'm studying, standing on flood zone AE. Right down the road is flood zone X. The main reason that these two zones are considered flood prone zones is because we have the Sabino Creek right over to my right. Reporting live from the east side, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9 on your side. All right, Veronica, thank you. Why don't we go to